Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can quickly and easily, and I mean really quickly and easily, add fog to your Unreal Engine level. Like always, please, if you'd like to support this channel, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, I even have a Patreon page so you can check that out as well. It's for my podcast, but it covers this venture as well, so if you'd like to support me, you can even buy my book. But enough with the plugs, let's go back to the whole process of adding fog. Now, first of all, in your starter level world outliner, if you search for fog, chances are that you already have atmospheric fog added to it. You can easily delete that because we won't be using it. I already did for my level and more precisely my project. And instead go to place actors and type in fog. As you can see, you have two options, which is atmospheric fog that you already have and likely then deleted it and exponential height fog. It sounds weird. It sounds like something you're not looking for, but it's actually precisely the thing that you're looking for. Now, first, let me show you my level. This is for a little game I'm building that's called Meta Virgil, you know, like the Roman poet. And it has basically just this center element right here, but I added also these pillars around this plate to get something like a marker function for the fog that I'm going to add so we can see how it kind of behaves. And now we simply take exponential height fog and add it to the level. And immediately, believe it or not, we have a fog right here. Now, chances are you don't see it. I'm not seeing it either, but we're going to modify it by going into these options right here. So it's exponential fog, exponential height fog component. And in these several elements, you have everything you desire for your fog. The fog density is of course the first parameter that you can modify and it's on a sliding level. So look at the horizon right here where these lines are and see how it changes. Right now it's at 0.05 and the slider doesn't go beyond that, but don't worry, we can modify it by simply adding a value of let's say one, a lot more than this. And the whole le level is now drenched in fog. We can add a lot more, we can go to for example nine and you don't see basically anything, but let's say keep it at one. And we also have our ha fog height fallout, which we can also modify. As you can see, it changes with the height. So I'm going to leave it somewhere around here. I don't want to have my level literally bait in fog. I just want to have a level of fog here. Uh, you have your also your second fog data. I'm not going to move any of these, but you can of course experiment with any of those, but the second most important let's call it that element here is the fog in so i can't pronounce this word color in scattering color it's basically fog color so for my level let's say i want to have it in green and it looks like really really radioactive stuff um, and of course the more you draw it to the center you the more you have that realistic fog look which is kind of white but let's have it with a slight tint of green for example like for a horror game and these are also important uh, fog maximum opacity is how much of that fog do you want to have seen so we can also bring it down to get an airy sense to the fog but let's keep it pretty close to maximum opacity and this is also important. This is start distance of a fog. Now let me find my player capsule. It should be here. As you know, all fog is basically a visual illusion of the saturation of, or of the environment around you or basically the air with particles of water or water mist. You're always on the edge of fog and as you move through it, it kind of clears up. Uh, or you have that sense of it clearing up. So this is the start distance. It basically shows you where that cutoff or band of 
fog will begin. In reality, that's basically the, the, the thickness of the fog. But in many games, you have basically this situation. There's no star distance, you're already immersed, immersed in the fog. However, a much more realistic option is to have at least some band or sphere where the fog is not active, just to give that more realistic sense. And uh, finally, we have fog cutoff distance, which you can also modify and see how it does behave in your level. As you can see, it's getting thicker or easier and further we move. I'm not going to actually experiment anything, do anything with it. This should be enough. So let's see how my fog looks in the game itself. As you can see, these basically look as they should, they're grayed out, but as I move further, here is the fog, there is that fog in the distance. I can use this jumping pad to kind of show you how the pillars behave. Again, this band looks now very unrealistic and it looks like a line that kind of cuts off the fog. So we can take down the same starting distance a lot more, say it for example here, and we can add opacity to the fog. And we can say, let's take it even greener and try it out again. And here you have it, it's a lot more intensive, it's a lot more thick, as you can see the pillar by there is less visible, the other as well. The one at the far end is basically nearly but invisible now, it's basically invisible. Invisible. And yeah, the fog otherwise looks great. There's still that sense of it clearing up as I move closer to things, but I don't see that direct band of no fog, fog begins, which could you, you could also experiment with using fog opacity. So there you have it, it's a really simple, really elegant and really excellently functioning feature of Unreal Engine. Exponential height fog, you can add it to your level, you can use it, you can create a bunch of options with it in a bunch of different games, of course, horror games and atmospheric games first come to mind, but there are also other alternatives, all of which are really useful and really easy to modify in your level through, as you can see, all of these exponential height fog components, which are super accessible and simple. So that's it. You now know how to create fog in your Unreal Engine levels. Thank you so much for watching this beginner tutorial video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the description below. Also, please subscribe and leave a like on this video if you found it useful. Again, there is a bunch of ways how you can support me or support my channel. All of them are in the description below. Don't forget to check out my other videos. That's probably the best, second best after subscribing option of supporting my channel is to check out my other videos and push up that view time. And yeah, that's it. Again, thank you for being here. Hope you found this interesting. Hope you found this useful. Please come back to my other videos. I basically create a single video on Unreal Engine or an Unreal Engine tutorial each week. It's usually Wednesdays and hope I see you then. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.